Hi everyone, I'm Jody Barrows with The Square in a Square. Welcome to our webinar today in May of 2022. We have a sale, a fabric sale going on, and some teaching. I have a lot of things to cover today, so we're going to move pretty quickly. Make sure you have a pen and paper, and even if you can write the time down on the bottom of the video, because there may be parts that you want to go back and watch over and over again. Now there's a slight delay for when you ask a question, but make sure you get your questions in just as soon as you can. So I hope everyone is having a great day. There are some downloads that were available to you if you signed in through the webinar. If you did not sign in to watch today through the webinar and you just happened to come across us on Facebook or YouTube, then you can get those downloads where? I'm gonna post them in Facebook and YouTube Okay, so uh, there'll be a direct link. There'll be a direct link on Facebook and YouTube so that you can have those downloads. One is a newsletter sheet so that you can stay up to date on dates and things that we have happening. Then there's also a one-page sheet for our mini color class that we're going to do today. It's really very simple, and to me, it's the best way to get started with color, learning color. I, I we were at the retreat last week, and so many people talked about how much trouble they had with color and I know that you know other resources that we've talked to and been to one of the number one things they talk about is color how do I know which ones go together to make a beautiful quilt then the other question is how much fabric do you buy when someone is having a fabric sale how do I know what's a great quantity to purchase and to get the right amount so there are three pages that you can download on uh, fabric quantity so that it will help you know what to purchase. Now with our fabric sales, um, the sale prices are three yards or more. So you have to get three yards of whichever one it is that you're looking at or more uh, to get that sale price. And if you go to the website, there are a few exceptions. There are a few exceptions, some that are very limited quantities and just onesies and stuff. But our website, of course, is squareinasquare.com. And if you will go to the search bar up at the top and just put in sale, S A L E, then it will take you to all of the sale items. There are going to be some things I'm going to show you today that are not on sale but that way you can see all of those in one area. Also, um, if you have a $150 order or more, you will get free shipping, except on a few of the items. And when I show you those, I'll try to remember to tell you that those are not. But also when you go to the website to order it, I think it'll be obvious on there. As always, if you have any questions, just email us and we'll be happy to help you and let you know. Now also there is a quilting text hotline number. It's 817-713-2879. So you can text on that number anytime you have questions or need help. And that's also a great place, a great resource to go to, to send me a picture of what you're working on and so that I can see what you're doing. And it's also very easy for me to make a quick little video and send it right back to you to help you and to answer your question and to make it easier if that's necessary. I, I send videos to people just on the spot all the time. So please remember that's always available. It's 817-713-2879. Now I have a lot to show you today, so I'm gonna move along really quickly. So, um, um, Concentrate, stay with me here. So kind of the order of what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the train fabric and kits, um, the fabric sheet, I'll go a little bit in detail with it. Then we're gonna do the color part. Then we'll talk about the patriotic fabrics and quilts, and then um, option 41 and two quilts, and then a demo on some of the beginning options of one, three, and four. And then what's happening with Quilt Club Week and Retreat and Premium Club some miscellaneous, miscellaneous items that we have to sell. And then we also have some quilts and some quilt tops to sell. So a lot to get going with today. So any questions before we get going? So welcome to everyone. I'm glad you're here. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I did post a download in uh, YouTube. I'm getting ready to in Facebook. Okay, they, he has posted the download in YouTube and he's getting ready to do that in Facebook. So while we're doing that, let's just go ahead and let's uh, 
look at the um, train fabric. So those of you that have followed me and know me, you know that I love the historical side and that's where all of my fabrics and my ideas and designs come from. And the 1800s of American history is some of my favorite. So our transcontinental railroad train is 150 years old of where the continent was connected east and west. And so we did a train line of fabric and we're at the very end of that fabric. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you that is on sale today. So you can see behind me here, this one, which was the uh, panel and it has um, some of the telegraph messages that were sent back and forth, all the different details of the train, what was happening on the east side of the United States as it was connecting with the west side of the United States. And um, of course the different dates, the RRs for the railroad, and just really a fun quilt, a uh, fun panel to work with. We have a quilt here in a few minutes that I'll show you where uh, we didn't use it as a whole piece, but that we cut it up. The whole piece was a big quilt that we did for our Premium Club members, and I don't have any of that to show you today. But let's look down here at our fabrics on the table, and um, all of these that I'm showing you right here with the trains are on sale except for the red four star. And I wanted to show you how well that red four star blends in with all of our fabrics. So the first ones here I'm going to highlight are the ones that we call the train track. It came in the red, it came in what we call the dirt, and it came in the kettle black. And the words that are on here are important words or phrases or dates that was significant for the railroad. And so the train track one comes in these three colors, and I'll point those out in the quilts here in a few minutes. Now this one is one of our new ones. It's the flags, and it's from our patriotic collection. But And it, of course it'll go with these. We'll talk about here in a few minutes. But I wanted you to see how well it goes with the train fabrics. Now the green four star is on sale. This one is. And here is the green flag. And I just wanted it to be in here so that you could see how well they all blend together. And it is on sale. It's part of our patriotic line. But you can see how nicely all of those go together. Now this one is one that is one of our old Civil Wars and it is called Weapons. It's um, um, in the red um, family and category. And then we have the ones that we call the elements. And the elements came in the dirt, the red, and the green. All of these we are limited quantities on, and this most likely with what we have and how I know you guys normally purchase, everything will be gone with this sale. And, and of course that's what we want. We're at the end of it, and we're ready for it to move out. So let's look at a couple of train uh, quilts so that you can get some ideas of how to use these fabrics together. But these kits are also on sale. We don't, normally we don't ever have our kits on sale, but we do have a few of these left, left and we're ready to move them out of the warehouse. Now you know when we're ready to move stuff out of the warehouse, you know that's because new stuff is coming. I haven't had any new fabric since uh, fall last year and our new fabric, uh, we don't have a date yet on when it's going to be here, but it's a big, big, big collection like my Pony Express and like my um, Abe Lincoln fabric was. So we need room in the warehouse to work and to cut and to create. So all of this train stuff has got to go. So here you saw the, the panel that we talked about. And I love how the train tracks are on the side. You can use those as part of the panel or you can cut those um, off. So remember, three yards or more will get you the sale price. Now this particular quilt here is called Double Star. And you can see how we have the uh, traditional star here. And then with the option one square and a square alternating, you can see how it makes a secondary red star outside with the big, with the smaller black star on the inside. And this one is called Double Star. And look how we've used that red train track fabric to create the border. And that's also what's on the back of the, the quilt. And make sure with a fabric sale, one of the great things that you can always do with a fabric sale is to get backs for your quilts. So any of these fabrics that we have on sale, you've got some quilts that you're working on or planning to do, this is a great time to get beautiful fabrics to go on the back so that the backs of your quilt are just as pretty as the front. Here you can see some of that train element in the light and in the red um, and then the red um, um, train track one and this one is double star and there's only a couple of kits of that one 
so don't delay. Our fabric sale is going to go to the 22nd of June, but that doesn't mean that all of our supplies will last till then. Things will sell out. Um, some things will be gone today and some things tomorrow and, and a lot more by the end of the week. So if there's something that you're really wanting, quantities are limited, jump right in there and do that. How can you keep your reds from fading? How do you keep your reds from fading? Well, we have a whole series um, in our Premium Club and in our Quilt Club Week series where we've talked about dyes and gone into extensive um, uh, teaching on those. But with my fabrics that I make, my dyes are stable. I have not worried about reds in the last 20 years since I started designing my own fabric. And that's one reason why I wanted to do my own fabric is I wanted the quality and the colors and the quantity and the availability of not just boom, it's here and then boom, it's gone. I like to have it a little while so that people have time to get quilts made and be creative and think about things. And then like our railroad fab fabric, it's been like three years since I created it. Now it's time for it to go for the new collection to come in. So this one here behind me is, um, Oh, one more thing about colors. Uh, make sure you buy from uh, good quality fabrics from a good fabric company and don't ever wash anything that was alive like your cotton fibers or is alive above 82 degrees. That, so that's the, the quickest and the best help um, I can give you. I'm not afraid of reds and my lights. Um, I just don't worry about them. Now this one is the Americana. It's called Railroad Americana. You can see the stripes and then of course the same star. One of our most popular designs in quilts. Every time I get new fabric, I make a quilt up from the Americana pattern because it's just so quick and easy and beautiful to do. And if you're brand new to the square and the square system, you haven't seen how we make all these triangle points, I'll do that here um, shortly. But any of these quilts, uh, I feel like anybody can sit down and make. Uh, should I wash my fabric before I start quilting? Do I wash my fabric before I use it? Uh, this can be a little bit in depth. If it's been made in this century, so from 2000 till now, and if it's been made by a reputable, a reputable con company, then I would say that it should be okay. And of course, um, I'm sorry. First no, I'm sorry. Let me start over again. <laughs> Okay. I don't wash my fabric. That's probably the quickest answer to that. I use my fabric. I know what to expect. If I purchase from somebody else and it's a good company and I know what to expect from them, I don't wash it. I haven't washed fabric before I've sewn it together in probably 30 years. Okay. All right. So this one's Americana. And then let's move down here to this one. This one is called Union Square. So in this quilt, we just have an option one in the middle some half square triangles, which is option four, a flying goose, which is option three. We put the block on point. We use the red elements for the setting triangles on it and the black track. And it's a, just a beautiful, beautiful quilt, very elegant. This is one that, you know, if I had a family member that was just crazy with trains, this is one that I would make for them and I wouldn't be, uh, you know, it would be beautiful to go on the back of your couch and live there in the living room. It would be a nice, accessory for that. And the Union Square, the Americana, and the Double Star, those are all um, kits that are on sale right now with the train fabric. Okay, so any other questions? I don't think so. Okay. All right, let's get one last look right here at the train fabrics and the ones that I have uh, grouped together, and then we'll move on to the next one. So these are the elements where you can see different parts of what they used and the trains to build. It's your dirt, your turkey red, and your mossy green, those three of the elements. And then you have these three of the tracks, the turkey, the dirt, and the kettle black. And you can see on this cream one, some of the words, really nice. And those are all on sale. Now the red star is not, but I wanted to put it in here so that you could see how nice they all blend together. This is your red weapons, um, your green star, and then we had the black flag and the green flag. These are from our patriotic 
uh, fabrics. And we'll put those there just like that. Okay, let's bring all these down a little bit more so that you can see them. And now we're going to talk about the patriotic fabrics. So we had, these are the ones that we call the flag and we call them tone on tone. There's five colors. Of course, you have a red, a white. This is our dirt, is our white. You have a red, the dirt, the blue, and the green and the black. And these are great ones to have in your stash, to plan on to use in your quilts. These are all of our new ones that have come from last summer till now. We've been working on our patriotic line. So with this being a memorial weekend coming up and then 4th of July and then Labor Day, we all think patriotic. So I want you to have a chance to be able to get some of these at a good price. Then we have this one that we call the Eagle Flag and it has the Eagle and the flag. And then I love on here, it has 1776 and 2026 and 250 because in 2026, America will be celebrating the 250 year birthday or anniversary of the country. So those are really cool. And it comes in a red, it comes in the blue, and it comes in the dirt. Then we have, and I'm gonna show you some that we've made with this so that you can see how easy it is to work with. And then in the Eagle Vine, we have the red and the blue and what we call the dirt, which is the white. And then I wanted you to see how nicely the uh, red stars, the green stars, and of course, all of these different flag ones all work together really nice. Now, our checks that you see over here and our tattered and torns and our gold vine, those are not on sale, but I wanted you to see how nice all of these blend together. So first of all, let's go over here to our Blue Eagle quilt and focus on this one. This one is from the Grizzly Mountain Pattern. We used our new eagle fabric for it. We called it um, Eagle Mountain. So we've got the half square triangles here and the dirt tattered and torn and then our eagles are in here and then the blue and black check. Now the traditional pattern that we have uses the half square triangles in the border but with our beautiful eagle print we didn't need to make a pieced border for it. We just let the fabric do the work for us on there. And this one is option 12 of the square and the square system. It is the pineapple. And in September of 19, we had um, a great video. You can go back and find it on Facebook or if you're a premium club member, it is also in there. And we have made um, the pineapple quilt again and we've used our red, white, and blue fabric. You can see our red eagles. We've used the blue and black check, the red and black check. We've used the red check for the border, and I love the dirt flag in here for our background. See how beautiful that is? And it's really an exquisite, uh, beautiful quilt. Now let's look at this one behind me. This one is called Rolling Star, and it is actually a new pattern that's coming. We'll be introducing it most likely at Quilt Club Week in October. That's the first week of October, and I'll tell you more about Quilt Club Week as we go along. But you can see how we've fussy cut the eagle flag to go into the middle of our star. And that is a really nice size on the fabric that's a four and a half inch cut. So there's a lot you can do with that fussy cut of a four and a half inch. And um, this quilt you can see in the border where we've used the option 11s and option 11s here, option 1s, really a beautiful quilt. And um, it may look difficult or intricate, but it's, it's really easy and simple to do. Then in this one here, I want to highlight this one. This one is um, our option 41. And our option 41 is really cool because everybody thinks you're going to have to fussy cut this piece. But what we did... For option 41 is let's look down here at the table we came in here and we cut the fabric this way to get our piece the size that we wanted so we just cut a strip with the length of the fabric and then we did our option 41 so option 41 comes in this little flyer it's the snowball block and the ways that you trim it up you get your snowball look 
And so for this one, we put the eagle here in the middle. And so it was very easy to cut. We didn't have to cut the block to make it on point. Let's look at the quilt up here again. Here is your snowball right here. And you can see how we use the red eagle and the blue eagle. And then we just use our checks and our flags and our other red, white, and blue fabrics to go onto the corners of that snowball block to get our option 41. So really an easy way to get the, the eagles um, cut from your fabric so that you don't have a lot of waste and get those fussy cut in the middle. And that's from our option 41 here, and it's got a couple of patterns in it. And then the next option 41 is this one. So while we're sticking with 41, I'll show you. Let's look down here at the table. So here you can see the option 41, the snowball block. And since we didn't have the beautiful uh, print to go in the middle, we did some cute little um, um, English paper piecing on here. So we have a, a Dresden heart. We have a, kind of a long oval one and then the traditional petal one like you see here. So really a fun and easy one to do. And this one is option 41. And these fabrics were just some that I had in my stash, so there's not, not any of those on the website um, or available. Now, let's talk briefly about color. So if you have that download, you have a color sheet. And let's look at it here. Okay. So when you get ready to um, look at your fabrics and decide what kind of quilt that you want to make, you need to make basically two stacks of fabric when you're looking at your fabrics. You're going to have fabrics that have a darker um, base for them. And then you're going to have fabrics that have a lighter base. Okay. So, when you look at your fabric, make two categories. One that is a darker base and, or a muted color, and the other one that is clear. Now, before when I've talked about making these two stacks, I didn't have a stack of clear because I don't really use clear fabrics. All of my fabrics have the muted under dye on them. Now, if you've ever, like, you know, you think, oh, this is a red fabric, this is a red fabric, you put them together, you know, maybe in a, in a controlled quilt or a scrap quilt, and you think, okay, why are these not looking the way I want them to do? Why is one standing out over another one? And it's because you've got the two families mixed. And my personal opinion is, is they never mix well. Uh, you're always going to have, you know, if you have more of the muted, then these are going to come out, jump out when you look at the quilt. If you have more of the clear, then the muted ones are going to jump out, and your eye is going to jump to that contrast. It's not going to stay and cover and go through all the quilt and make it uh, beautiful. So the first thing you need to do is put your fabrics in a muted stack and in a clear stack. All of my fabrics that I sell fall into the muted category, therefore all of the fabrics go together. No matter what colors you're trying to put together, they're going to go. Now, um, let's look at these a little bit more, because I think um, the clear fabrics were what people had the most questions with last time. So all of these here are clear fabrics, and you can see how all of these would go together and look nice. Now, these reds have a clear base to them, so they don't really work with, with mine. You can see how they just, even though they're all reds, and there may be some darker reds in here, they just don't really mix well. So all of these are clear colors. But you can see how all of these would go together well. Now, when you uh, purchase Christmas fabric, most of the Christmas fabric is a uh, clear color. It is not the muted. And then I want you to see this cute little quilt that was one of my um, friendship groups. Friendship is sewn one stitch at a time 
beautiful little quilt, but these are all clear colors. Even though they look like they're um, dusty, they're not. The base of these are all clear. There's just a clearness or more of a brightness to them. So hopefully that helps. Now, after you have your muted and your clear colors separated, you need to put your fabric, so let's say we're gonna work with these clear, and you need to make a stack that's light, medium, and dark. So this is definitely light. Those could be light or medium. We're gonna put those in the light. This one a medium. Those could be medium. And these could be the darks. So after you have your three categories, your light, your medium, your dark, then each one of these categories can go into a light, medium, or dark. I can have a light, medium, or dark in my light categories. In my medium categories, I can have a light, medium, and dark. And in my dark categories, they could fall into a light, medium, or dark. And what makes them change from one to the other is the contrast of what you're putting it with. So if I'm putting this one over here with this one, they're both going to look like a dark. But if I take this one and even put it over here with this one, or even this one, see how there's a good contrast, even though you thought, well, how come she didn't put those in the dark? Because they're a medium, and if you put the right dark with it, they stay a medium. So when I take these of my medium, and I come over here to my lights, then they could turn into a dark because you have that good contrast. Perfect, great contrast with those, a good contrast with those. Not so much with these two. And not necessarily so much with these two. So this one could turn into a darker light and this one turns into a lighter medium and you don't get that contrast. So two categories of fabric, a color and a muted, and then take one of those families, divide it into a light, medium, or dark, and then look at your contrast. So that's, to me, the quickest color class and probably the best advice um, I can give you. So we have any questions? Now, even though people may look at these and say they're brights, even though people may look at these fabrics and call them uh, brights, can you tell me would they go into the, the muted fabric or would they go into the clear fabric? Because lots of times people will look at some of my quilts and they'll say, oh, I like brights. Well, they may be referring to something that's more vivid like this, but this is not what, the, these actually are muted. The undertones of the dyes are muted. So these fall into the muted. They do not fall into the clear or the brights. So you can have a bright and a deep, rich color in the muted colors. Okay, so that is a little bit about your, and the biggest thing is contrast. Make sure you have a good contrast when you're building a quilt and putting it together. For example, when you look at the quilt, what do you want to stand out? If I'm making a star, I want the points of my star to stand out. So when I'm looking at this one here, if I don't have a good contrast for these points of my star, then I'm going to lose my design. So you have to really look at the contrast of what's going together and where it's going in the quilt so that you can see. So look at these with the dark centers, you still see the star. Look at this one with the light center, you still see the star. And it's because those points and the background have a good contrast in them. Okay, so let's look at our sheet that um, talks a little bit um, about fabric. So there's one of the sheets, there's three fabric sheets in your download. 
and it talks about how much fabric to purchase and which way your fabrics need to be turned if you're looking for backing or if I'm buying, um, since our fabric sales always start with um, three yards of fabric, then what can I do with three yards of fabric? And so these little fabric sheets here will help you know, you know, do I want a three yard piece, a four yard piece, a, a back or, or whatever, these will help. Yeah, these will help you to know which direction things are running. If you're, if you're putting a border on a quilt and you want it to run lengthwise, you know, then a three yard piece is usually what you want. And then those of you that have our reference book, our book one, page 45, talks a lot about um, fabric amounts and which directions and quantities and all of that. So these will help you. Do you ever mix muted and clears in the same quilt? Do I ever mix the muted and the clears in the same quilt? 99.9% .9 of the time, no. Because like I said earlier, that clear and that muted your eye is going to jump around you know it's kind of like when i show a check um, on my camera it, it kind of hurts your eye let's look at these checks on the camera see how the the pixels um, from the camera doesn't really um, like the checks it's hard on the camera it's hard on the eye so when you put these muted and these lights together it's hard on your eye it, and when you look at your quilt that if you most of your stuff is muted and then you have a clear that clear one is always going to jump out so I haven't done this in a long time but before like 40 years ago when my stash was a mix of a lot of different fabrics now it's just quilting fabrics but long time ago when I would do a scrap fabric and put scrap pieces together and you have that piece that jumps out that's when I would tea dye my quilt or over dye it to help make that clear one more muted so that it matched up and looked um, the same. So um, if I can help it, no, I don't. Sometimes when I'm doing a scrap quilt, I'll get a piece in there that uh, makes my eye jump, kind of like those checks make the pixel of the camera jump. And um, I try not to, to me it doesn't work. <clears throat> okay, another question? Okay, so let's look at our patriotic quilts. And uh, we had our patriotic fabrics. Let's just kind of scan them again. There are no kits for any of these at this present time except for Thomas Log Cabin. This is the Thomas Log Cabin one, and you can order a kit for it on the website. But the kits are not on sale, but the loose fabric is. So it's best just to go in and order those three yards of those different fabrics that you like, get them in your stash, and then um, see if the pattern is already in your book. That's gonna be the best price uh, for the different ones you're doing. That's in Mailey. Uh, this one is in the Mailey Women book, yes. Uh, it's also uh, individual pattern, Thomas Log Cabin, that you can get, that you can order. Okay, so this one uh, was the option 41. And I love how we took the little, um, stars and did the border and then did the fussy star in the corner all just um, from the fabrics so there's that one and then i'll step out of the way and you can see the thomas log cabin now what makes this thomas log cabin a little bit different from some of the other ones that we've made over the years is that usually this is a light sashing so then the blocks just kind of float but here we've used a color sashing and so it really separates the blocks okay let's see what we've got under here or under here okay so that's it on uh, those particular ones okay i've already shown you option 41 so now let's do our demo for our square in a square and um steve always let me know if you have any questions so if you're brand new to the system, everything um, we do, I'm sorry, you do? We do have a question. Okay. What is the name of the quilt directly behind you with the half square triangle block borders? Okay, this one right here is Thomas Log Cabin with these half square triangles going around the four log cabins. And this pattern is an individual pattern or it's in the Maley Women book. And, um, you could go in and look at all the different patriotic fabrics and order them 
and you would have enough to do that quilt for sure. This one is called Rolling Star. We don't have the pattern out for it yet. We will later this summer or fall. And then the um, pineapple one is on down there on the other end. Any more questions? Okay, so let's look down here at our demo table. So everything we do starts out with a square in the middle and strips on the side. And the different, of course you can do different sizes, different colors, it really doesn't matter. Here's a big one here. If you had big pieces that you needed. And um, here's your square and square ruler. And I'm just going to put the tip of that 90 right there in the tip or the corner of that fabric square. My black lines line up right over my seam. My grid line goes right through that point. And if you go to the website, squareandsquare.com, and you go to look at the ruler or the books or any of that, they're all going to have videos that go with them that tell you about the product. And so I think that will, will help you too. And so I'm just going around all four sides, pushing that 90 right into the corner of that fabric square and trimming it up, keeping my block square as I go. And that leaves me a fourth of an inch seam allowance in, on all four corners. So this one is what we call option one. And there's 41 options. We're gonna have new option 42 this fall at Quilt Club Week. Now, if I want flying geese, I'm going to trim, leaving the fourth of an inch on two corners, and I'm gonna go right up to the tip on the other two. So let's do the uh, 90 and leave the fourth of an inch. And let's do that on two opposite sides. And then on these two sides where we want it nice and sharp, we're gonna put the 90 in there and I call it the two step because we're stepping over one, two, two lines. Keep it square where you've already cut. And what we're doing is we're moving the point and we're creating a seam allowance through the middle so that you can come in here and trim it and have your two perfect flying geese just like that. No papers to peel, no dog ears, just um, nice, smooth, clean work. Now, if I wanted to have square triangles, I would just go right up to the tip on all four. Let me see if I have one here. Uh, So just like we went right up to the tip here, we're going to do that on all four corners. So that means two step, all four corners. And if you're new to um, Square and Square, go to the website and sign up so that you can go um, into the website and watch the free webinars that we have so that you can... Uh, these are. This today is just a pretty quick... Uh, teaching it's not really very in-depth and in those other ones you can go in there and really get a lot of good information so we went right up to the tip on all four corners and then I'm going to cut through all four corners and there's my half square triangles so when you look at these quilts with all of these triangle units like you see here these don't have to be scary anymore you can make all of these sawtooth borders and sawtooth edges and not have any triangle hassle or headache. Or if you wanted to use flying geese, um, they all just are very easy. The work is so clean and nice and neat. And I always say it helps move you up the quilting ladder of success and uh, allows you to become that piecer that you've always wanted to be. In the option 40, she said 42, but it must be 41. Uh huh. The snowball. Uh, are there different block sizes in the snowball? Yes. Uh huh. We have um, a three, a six, a nine, and a twelve. So there are those different sizes included in the information. And do you have any quilts using black tattered, uh, looking to do a farmhouse color, such as grays, blacks, and creams? Um, I don't have a lot of black quilts up here to show you today, but you'll see some as we go along with the black tattered. And of course, here you can see the piece right here. We can have the camera come down on that. And while we're looking at the black tattered and torn, do we have other questions? Uh, nope. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, Quilt Club Week. Quilt Club Week, for those of you that are new to us, we started Quilt Club Week in 2020 when everyone was stuck at home and they couldn't go out to the different quilt shows. And I wanted to offer an online um, seminar that was multiple days that would give you knowledge and fun and motivation and excitement. So we started it in 2020 and everyone loved it so much we decided to continue it. So each year we do a Quilt Club Week, it's QCW, and it's the first week of October. So we have Quilt Club Week 2020 with all the different classes and lectures and demos in it. And we have Quilt Club Week 2021 and we're working on our new one for 2022, which will be October 6th, 7th, and 8th. So it, the full days are Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We always do an early bird Wednesday night. We usually do something on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to get you all excited and get people motivated and ready. And then we usually do a bonus on Sunday. So when you go to a quilt show, think about what you do when you go to a quilt show. You go and you look at vendors, you watch demos, you listen to lectures, you have lots of little mini teachings, and you can have some sit down and take down an in-depth class. And so that's what we offer with Quilt Club Week. There's hours and hours and hours. I wouldn't even know where to begin to guess how many hours are in 2020 or 2021 or 2022 that we're working on. So right now you can go to the website and you can purchase just Quilt Club Week um, 2020 and 2021, uh, or you could purchase the package with all three. Now, those of you that are Premium Club members, this is part of your Premium Club. You don't have to purchase it separately, and that's what we love, and it's kind of a celebration for our Premium Club members, and then we offer it and open it to other people who want to come and join. So, um, uh, I have lots of different teachings that I do and lectures that I do. And then Kay and Kathy of the Franklin Quilt Company, they have been a part of every Quilt Club Week that we've done. And then in 2021, we also had a guest teacher on that talked about wool applique and fabric designs, and she taught a class, and then also the applique. So sometimes we have a guest teacher, and sometimes um, it's me with Kay and Kathy. And you may have met Kay and Kathy on some of our quilt talks that we have done um, over the last couple of years. Those are a lot of fun. They're um, fun, quirky girls. I love them. I know that we're gonna laugh and have a good time every time we're together. Now, they were here uh, in, um, April, uh, April, at the end of April, they were here, and then they stayed for our retreat the first week of May, and then they're coming back in August. We're going to be doing some uh, quilt talks and getting everybody excited about Quilt Club Week. Now, you don't have to wait for Quilt Club Week 2022. You can go ahead and start with 2020, watch those all summer until the end of the year, and 21, and then be ready to go for 22. So whether you want to purchase them separately or the two that are already done or all three of them together, you can do that. And if you have any questions, remember to email. Steve is great to explain and help you with any of that. Um, if you are signed up on our um, website, then you'll always get a notification about our webinars or our specials or our sales that we have. And then also I want you to put on your calendar next year, our retreat is April um, 19 to 23. And we will have early sign up um, soon for our premium club members and for our charter members of our retreat this year. And then we'll open it up to others if we have any room left. So any questions before we move on? Everybody having fun? I know I'm moving through all of this pretty quickly here. Okay, so let's look at some other items that we have um, on sale for you. This particular one is called um, Red Crocus here. And it's a really cute uh, little quilt and we have one kit left for it. It's normally $99 and I think our sale price is $75. The quilt is 40 by 40 and your backing, binding, and pattern is all included here in the kit. And there's just one of these left. So unless someone's jumped on there and already purchased it, um, there's that particular one. This one, go ahead. 
Oh, just to follow up on the retreat, where, where do we do our retreat? Um, follow up on the retreat. The retreat is about an hour from the DFW airport, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's in Sunset, Texas. It's out in the middle of a working ranch. Um, you can, I don't know if our regular Facebook page has any photos on it. I know our premium class since we just had it, had a ton of photos. It's a beautiful new facility, just a couple of years old. They do all of our cooking for us. We have great lights and good chairs and good table and good space to work at in our big work room with a snack bar area. And then the bedrooms are just beautiful. They're new, clean, nice. Um, just, you know, I'd be happy just to go and retreat and, and stay in the area and just read a book and relax and all that. It's all so beautiful there. And so that will be April 19 to 23. We also arranged, we had people driving in from lots of different states and people flying in even from Alaska. And, um, we arranged um, shuttles at the airport so that we could pick you up and get you out there. You could rent a car if you wanted to. Um, and if you're coming with a friend and you want to get that all together, then you can. But if you're coming in alone and you want to be on the shuttle, Steve did a really great job of making sure that everyone was on their planes and everything while they were getting here and then going home. Um, even though the retreat was over, we didn't consider it over until our last participant landed and made it home. So um, um, you don't have to be uh, worried or, you know, shy away because you think, oh, I don't know how to get from the airport to there or any of that. We really did a great job of taking care of everyone. Another question? Um, somebody left one, but I haven't seen it yet. So okay, so he's going to... Ask her to re re reply. <coughs> If you have a question and we haven't answered it, maybe type it back in there and it'll come, come up closer to the surface where we can see it and answer it, okay? Put it back in there again. Okay, let's look <laughs> down here at... Kathy's talking about her. Her walk. That retreat. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, let's look at these down here on our table. So this little bundle is a 800s, uh, 1800s historical bundle. It's normally $75. It's a special for $50. You have three yards of the panel in here, and then you have three yards of the um, Civil War soldiers. So I'm not sure how you can see that in the plastic, but that's a great one to get, a $25 savings. We also have these bundles of half-yard pieces. That's a nice bundle of reds and greens and some blacks. And then over the years, um, I have taught classes and I have... That brown one got to be seen. Did oh. you see it in there? Uh-huh, I could see it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, over the years, I have taught classes where I have brought a little mat, a rotary cutter, and a ruler for class. And uh, we taught these at Quilt Market and um, just as I went around to different guilds. But since we're not doing as much traveling as we used to, I don't need all these mats, cutters, and rulers. And there's just a few of them on the website. And I think the price is 20 bucks. And you know, a rotary cutter is about 20, a mat's about 20, a ruler is 30. And you can choose, if you go in there quickly, you can choose between a four patch, nine patch, um, a mini, and, and what we've got is what we've got. If by chance we're sold out and you're wanting something, ask me. I may be able to, to, I may have some that I could put together another one or two of them. So if those are all sold out at that great price of 20 bucks, let me know and we'll help you. Okay, this one is um, some fabric that we had quite a long time ago. Um, I think there's two different bundles of these. These are great for backs. It's the black... Uh, diamond one, the little diamond, and um, I think there's two of those. If you got one of our pineapple kits um, that we did, this was in it, and if you want this for backing, we have two different ones. I think one that's a king size, and then this one that's a six yard one. And this is our um, red weapons here. We've got some of those on sale, and then this one was from our welcome home. It's kind of the red twig. We've got some of those individuals on sale. Now, these particular ones are not on sale, but we have very limited quantities. 
And what I mean by very limited quantities, I mean like 20 yards or 30 yards or something like that. This was my 1790 floral. This was the red and the blue and the dirt. And we've used them and they're beautiful, but we only have a little bit left. And what's on the website is all that there is. It's regular price, but you can get ship, free shipping if you have a $150 order. So I'm just letting you know if there was any of this that you need to add to something that you've got or uh, you didn't get any of it, now's the time to get it because it will be gone. Now don't forget about our shortcut binding tool. The shortcut binding tool allows you to do these beautiful bindings where you have a flange on them. So you'll have your, your main binding color and then it'll go on your quilts like this and you have that beautiful little pop of color right there. And the binding tool helps you measure and cut and put all of these together. And you can do that all in one one piece, one, one step of your binding. So I really love the shortcut binding tool. And, uh, and when, we, when you make your quilts, when you finish with them, go ahead and make your binding and just put it on a little board like we did here. And when you get your quilt um, quilted, whether you're doing it or you're taking it to the long armor, you get it back, your binding is ready to go and you don't have to wait to get it done. Now, this one here is just a really cute, it looks like a little thimble. It's probably um, about six or seven inches tall. It kind of has a weighted base, so it's not going to fall around. And it's great to put your little supplies in. But another thing that I love about this is when you're on your cutting table, um, you can, your little pieces that you trim off or your little threads or whatever, you can use it as a small little trash container to keep your workspace nice and clean. And we had some of these at the retreat and just a couple of those left. We also have a really, really super great special on some little baskets. You guys know that I use my little baskets to put my sewing tools in and my threads and stuff when I do all of my handwork. So we've got some that we've made with little pin cushions to go on the top and they're separate. So while you're working or sewing, you have your threads and your scissors and everything here for your project and then your pin cushion. And then if you need to gather everything up, you can put it together like that and set it on your little shelf and you're done. And all of these that we have on are the longer burger baskets. And this will be our last round. We've shown you longer burger baskets off and on. And this is our last round of them. So if you've waited, now's the time to do it. So at the retreat, we had our t-shirts that were part of our swag bag. And we have some extra ones of those. You can see them here in the gray or in the turquoise. And it says, shut up and sew, smoke and needle, and square in a square. like that. So that was our logo for this time. We have a few left in the gray. You can check for sizes. Um, and then it has the v-neck in the front, which I really like. I don't feel like I'm wearing a, a t-shirt, just a little bit more um, dressed up in that t-shirt casual way. And then here are the beautiful uh, turquoise ones. And I like my t-shirts a little roomy. So I, I did get a um, extra large because I like it just a little bit roomy but a large would have fit me fine too. So I've got my my graphic team working on um, our new logo for next year and then also we had some of the bags for them. I don't have them um, to show. In our border class that we did from January to May in our premium club we showed how to take something that goes in the center and then work with the options to build the borders. You can go in and take just that class if you want, um, or you can join Premium Club and it will be a part of it. But I was finishing my center of my Christmas one that they have already seen the America, the ones from the Premium Club. But we do have a couple of those patterns left if you're interested. And there you can see the center on this one all um, completed. So um, 
this is 16 by 20 inches and that's what the the little pattern is here and then in the premium club for this semester for those of you that are that don't know about our premium club from january to may we do a series of classes that all blend together and then in our fall semester uh, from um, mid-august to holiday time we have another semester of classes that all blend together and so for this one this year it was a border class so we took option ones and we talked about how to do borders for it how to figure sizes how to think about colors and so on and then we did option two and then option three and option four and we actually had four quilts that we were working on so that we could show different combinations and different colors of that same option and i think everyone i know i learned a lot just in prepping and getting ready for those classes some tips and hints of things that i hadn't thought about and some speedy ways to accomplish what I wanted. And so that was um, the border class. And if you are not premium club, you can join up and then you can um, go in and watch all of the classes that we have. And of course, Quilt Club Week comes with that. Um, or you can go in and just sign up for the border class and take that particular one. And with all of our semester classes, we have handouts and downloads for you that go along with each class. And we always talk about making a notebook and putting your papers in there and um, creating your own uh, workbooks to get those done. So really a pretty one. I'm anxious to get this one um, quilted and, uh, and uh, be able to use it here for the holidays. Okay. Some questions? Now this particular one is, um, it's called East Meets West, and it is the railroad fabric, but this particular one is not on sale. It is regular price, okay? Now you can buy the loose fabric and buy the pattern, and then you can have it at a sale price, but as far as the kit goes, the kit is not. So you'll just have to purchase the loose fabrics and purchase the pattern, and it's called East Meets West, and I really love it. It's a beautiful little quilt. Mm. Using that, the railroad um, fabrics. Okay, and while they're looking at that one, I'm gonna hang a couple of these. These quilts that I'm getting ready to show you now are quilts that are on the website that are on sale. They're either fully quilted, binding, everything quilts, or their quilt tops, their samples so that we've used to showcase a pattern or a fabric and we need to get some more room in our warehouse. So these are ones that are, uh, will be going on the auction block, you might say. <laughs> and I don't have all of their different prices in my head, but you can go on the website and look. And of course, there's just one of them. So if it's one you're wanting, then you need to jump on it. Okay, so this first one over here is called Four Stones. It's uh, one that you can create with layer cakes, just 10 inch layer cakes. And uh, we taught this in Premium Club and also in Quilt Club Week. And this particular one is for sale. And then the next one here is the Red Eagle Flag and it highlights the, our new patriotic fabric. And it's the Simple Soldier Comfort one. So let's let them continue to look at those a little closer. Let's go right here to the uh, Prairie Claw. Okay, this one is the uh, Prairie Claw that you see here. It is made with the Abe Lincoln fabric, so it's really a nice special quilt with those Abe Lincoln fabrics that I did. Probably, uh, well, those were back in 09. 
all of those fabrics. And it is quilted, it's bound, it's got um, beautiful um, laurel leaf quilting on it. And it's one of our quilt sets for sale. So if you have a Abe Lincoln enthusiast, um, that's one that you can have ready to go and mark that Father's sure Day gift off of the list. This one is one of our Americanas, and it's just a quilt top. And then let's look at this um, crocheted one down on the table. It's a queen size. It's in just, I would say, perfect shape. Um, what are we looking at? The one on the table, the crocheted oh. quilted one. It's, uh, I would call it a bedspread, like a queen size. It's got the beautiful um, edges on it. It's a little bit of a winter white, but really a, a beautiful quilt. Okay, so this other one over here is the Thomas Log Cabin, and it's made from the uh, Leaving Riverton fabrics. And it's um, all complete and just some of our sample quilts that we need to move on out. So let's see if we can see any of the quilting on the back here of this one. The, not, it's got the check back on it. You can't really see any of the quilting too much on it. It looks pretty good from here. You can see it. Yeah, I can. Okay. And then this one is split bear paw. And it has the nice wide sashings with the nine patch. Have I seen that? And really a beautiful, um, this one's, uh, I'm trying to think, it's in one of the books, one of the patterns we don't have anymore. And it has really pretty quilting here on the back. You can see it, good contrast on that midnight blue. And then this one is a very large quilt. It is one of our Americanas. And when you go to the website to look at the quilts, it'll have the sizes on there for you. And of course the pricing. And those are just under quilts for sale. Yeah, just go under quilts for sale. You can do a search. And then back on our demo table, we have a snail's tail. It's got really beautiful quilting and a, and a pretty border. Maybe the other camera. Here you can see the border. This really pretty quilting on it. Okay, over on the other one is the Green Train Disappearing Star. And on the website there are pictures so you'll know you're looking at the right one. And it's just a top. Make sure you look on there whether it says top on it or quilt.
And then this one is the um, Scrappy Desert Star. Scrappy Desert Star. And then our next one over there is Star Flower. And this one is a, a top that's queen size, uh, really beautiful in your black and red and uh, uh, the tan. This one here. It would be beautiful um, on a bed. I have one in a, a little bit different colors and I just love it on one of my guest beds. And then our last one here is from the Kisses from Your Beloved. And this is one of our classes that's in our premium club. And so as I'm teaching it, I, I have to make it. I've got several of these. And this one is a quilt top. I think there's uh, 25 blocks in it. And really um, a beautiful quilt top. <clears throat> Would look gorgeous on your bed, get it quilted. And uh, if you're ordering any of these that are quilt tops, make sure you think about backing and get your backing um, at our discounted prices. There's something on there that you, that you like for your back. And let me see. Um, make sure you um, go to our website and join up um, on our email so that you don't miss any of our teaching. We have Kay and Kathy coming back in August. We have Quilt Club Week, the first week of October. We'll be doing different teachings this summer, and so you'll want to make sure that you're in on those. And um, also mark your calendar for the retreat, which is April 19th to 23rd. On the website, mm -hmm. at the very top, you can sign up for email list. You can sign up for a premium hub. And you can get information about the webinars. Okay, so you can go to, you can see our website down there, squareinasquare.com. And at the top of our homepage, there's um, information for Premium Club. You can sign up for it. It's a bar that keeps running. Yeah, it just kind of moves through. Um, and you can... Um, um, uh, quilt, cl or, uh, quilt Club Week, yes. You can sign up for Quilt Club Week now and start immediately today. You can sign up for Premium Club and start immediately today. Now remember, if you're signing up for Premium Club, Quilt Club Week comes with it, so you don't need to sign up for Quilt Club Week as a separate thing. Uh, if you go to pre if you sign up for Premium Club, you'll have Quilt Club Week 20 in there, you'll have Quilt Club Week 21, and then you'll be ready to go for our new one in October of 22. Plus, the hand, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how many hundreds of hours of teaching are in there. We have a beginner section. We have um, several of our big spring and fall projects, um, probably 12 of those different semesters, plus all the little individual teachings that are in there. Our beginner section, we just keep adding more stuff to the beginner section and to different little categories in there. You can pick a module and then go in there and look at all the different classes that are underneath it, whether they're simple and easy quilts or diamond quilts or, or whatever. Um, you can go in there and, and watch those videos. And really the way that you improve on your quilting skills is by totally immersing yourself. There, um, if, you, um, if you looked up the Greek word for uh, baptismal, which is baptized, it means that every oil, I mean every uh, pore 
is drenched in, in, in whatever you're dipping in. It's actually a term that they use for dye. When they would dye fabric, it would talk about dipping it in and dipping it in and dipping it in, just totally immersing it, baptizing it, and that that's how it changed. So changed color or whatever. So if you want to get better, if you want to improve on your skills, then you just go in there and you start watching those videos over and over and over again. Just keep dipping yourself, dipping yourself down in there and you will change your piece and you will change your quilt life and you will improve and gain knowledge and get better on how to work with your worrying about whether your colors uh, run or not, how to how to piece, you know, 60 little pieces of fabric in a little six inch square. Um, you'll learn all the tips and hints that we have, the what I call the science of patchwork, plus the square and a square system. Um, like, um, I don't know where that one, I had a testimony from one of our, um, someone that had joined Quilt Club Week. Um, she joined Quilt Club Week and she loved it. And so then she jumped over and joined Premium Club and she just started watching it and she's now been a member for multiple years and she says I've learned more than I have in the whole 20 30 years of sewing and quilting you know put together so really some uh, great testimonies of what people learn and if you want to get better you just have to baptize yourself in it you've got to immerse yourself in it and that's what all of these quilt club weeks and these webinars and our premium club that's what we do is we just keep showing you, showing you, showing you more and more and more. And what I love about them is you can go in and watch them any time of the day or night. And also we have a private Facebook page for Quilt Club Week and for Premium Club. So you can go in there and, and talk to other people and you know about Quilt Club Week or Premium Club or see the pictures from retreat, uh, whatever. It's really a great uh, way to um, do what you love. And um, it's fixing to get hot. In fact, in Texas, we've already had so many days, over 100. I don't even know how many we've had. But, you know, I don't want to be outside when it's 100. I want to be in my sewing room. Can you do Quilt As You Go? Quilt As You Go, yes. We did Quilt As You Go in uh, Quilt Club Week. In um, Quilt Club Week 21, we showed multiple ways to do Quilt As You Go. Several premium members mm -hmm. mentioning how much yeah. and how valuable... Well, and Kathy um, and Kay, they, you know, they're great teachers that have had lots of years. I think we figured that between the three of us during Quilt Talk one time, there was like 220 years of quilting expertise there, you know. So, you know, they've owned a quilt shop, they've gone to shows and everything, so they have a lot of knowledge, and they bring some different things to the table during Quilt Club Week and our Quilt Talk that you know that I don't do like the shortcut binding tool that was one of their creations that we now have here at Square in a Square and Kathy is the the queen of learning how to quilt on your domestic machine and Kay has a long arm and so there's just a lot of different um, um, knowledge and skills there that we teach um, when we come together all right just again, to the retreat is just a, an hour north and west of the DFW. The retreat is in a um, um, little town, uh, just an hour from the airport north and west. And um, the retreat center holds 40. And I am confident that as soon as we send that out, it is going to fill up. So be thinking about that. Um, don't delay when we send that out. And you'll know about it if you're on our email list. Pre um, Retreaters who were there this year will know first, and they'll get their first chance to sign back up. Then the Premium Club, they'll get the next chance to sign up, and then we'll open it up to um, the Square and Square world uh, if there's any spots left. Okay. Okay. Are we good? All right. Whew. I showed you guys a lot today. Take advantage of our sale. Remember, it'll last till June the 22nd. The quilts are not on the free shipping list, um, but if you spend $150 on books or fabrics or kits or whatever, then you'll get that free shipping, which is great. Take advantage of that, especially now with gas prices and everything, all that stuff is increasing. And um, of course, our quilts are one of a kind that you saw on sale. You could maybe knock out a few Christmas gifts kind of easy and you do the quilting on them. And, um, don't forget our florals. We're down to just a little bit of yardage of it, a couple of bolts, 
and uh, the train too. The train is down at the end. This will probably be your last chance to get the train. Okay, anything else? Thanks for spending an hour and about 16 minutes with me. I hope you had some great fun on this Sunday afternoon, and we'll see you again real soon on one of our webinars. Remember, 817-713-2879. You can ask me a question anytime. See you later.